Sunday afternoon, that means Margu, welcome aboard. Thanks for joining us. If this is your first time here, hang on. If you've been here before, you might be a glutton for punishment. But hey, it's still better than the Tampa Bay game. Uh, don't forget, follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about D&D, join our Discord. Uh, if you want to buy our cool crap like a shirt, phone case, shower curtain i don't think we have shower caps yet maybe we need that uh take a look at rpg swag the link is down below if you want to be on a show say tuesdays between the rolls or next saturday's one shot m hobo inc twitter or gmail hit us up we will get you on uh if you are in the market for dice customized dice uh go over to twitter and hit up uh, at pirate dog dice uh, tell them what you want, see if they have time to make it. If they do, great. If not, well, you'll have to wait. And if your game stinks, unlike ours, ours smells like success, uh, go on over to oddfishgames.com and grab yourself one of 60 different adventure scents, uh, a pleasure to your nostrils, except for, of course, uh, putrid sewers, uh, which almost caused one of our cast members to have a hilarious death online on camera it was funny uh also don't forget coming in in february the 12th and the 13th uh which i found out yesterday happens to be super bowl weekend but who cares uh murder hobo con our second one uh go on over to murderhobocon.com or hit us up on tabletop events we are still accepting submissions for events uh and of course you can still buy your badge the nice thing is you buy your badge You get to play any of the games. All you got to do is sign up for them. There's no extra cost. Plus, we got a whole lot of weird stuff in the venue. Uh, They'll be worth your while. That's MurderHoboCon.com. Folks, again, this is the Margu campaign. So let's go ahead and introduce you to the people who uh, didn't get hot uh tropic to sponsor us for some reason i you know they just aren't doing their job and that hurts but uh our our elder member of the group is first uh frank senior who are you and who do you play in margu b i'm uh frank senior and i'm playing leon sphinx leonid the barbarian very nice uh Middle Frank is not currently available, so we will go to the youngest murder hobo, uh, decked out, I assume, in hot, more Hot Tropic. It's Yay, just man. a shirt, okay? Just a shirt. Okay, just that's fine. blue. That's so, good old, old-fashioned blue. So who are you and who are you playing? Well, it's I, tough. Uh, you can go first. I'm Sophia. I know. And I'm I play Veal, a fallen Asimar, and a warlock, and he and Barnum is here, not goodbye. That's right. I don't Barnum. see him. He's I, not I, here. I, Barnum is always here. There you go. I'm here. I, I was always here. I'm scared. Hi, I'm Barnum, or better off known as Middle Frank. And I play a crazed, war-torn battle PTSD uh, player. PTSD. Ready to fight PTSD. whoever. Everybody. Anyone and everyone. Uh, next up, AJ. Who are you? Who do you play? I'm AJ, and I am the drunken gambler playing Ralph, the... The hill dwarf, mountain dwarf, also drunken gambler. <laughs> he has a bit of a uh, culture identity crisis, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, last but certainly not least, formerly our youngest member. Now just our second youngest member, which doesn't account for Jack or Squat. Uh, little Nobody. Frankie, who are you? Who do you play? I am Gornak Lamighty. I am one of the best barbarians in the group. Uh, I make the deals. I am the diplomat, like I am in every game I'm in, just all around, like team player. And like, uh, there's nothing else I can really use to describe me because I'm just so indescribably good. Sure, we'll go with that. Um, I, you know, I, I can certainly see that. I, and folks, if you want to, you can see it on YouTube because that's where we keep all of our old stuff. Uh, these guys have been in Yints, a mining community these guys were formerly members of the caravan guard but under new management these guys have all been sacked some of them like that some of them do not uh in any event these guys have already been to the middle area of uh, the garnet square and had a little bit of success against a wyvern some goblins uh some undead stuff like that uh they recently came up and out of excuse me, up and out of the catacombs where they were just 
allegedly finishing the job. I'll, I'll say it that way because there's really no other way to describe what they were doing down there. Uh, they were uh, trying to get rid of a group known as the orphans, some misfit individuals who were ripping off people uh, to their count. Who, who's got the right count? How many out of how many did you get? All but one. All but one is the correct answer. Um, but uh, these guys quasi made it through uh, the catacombs and they have found themselves right about... I get my annotating pen up here. Uh, they find themselves right there as uh, the sunlight is setting in Yintons. Uh, not Yents, Yintons. Uh, so, no sight. Uh, I believe uh, Leon Spinks was the first one out of the tunnel and everybody else yep. followed. Uh, you are still light one uh, HR individual. You have no idea where uh, that little rat bastard disappeared to. Hard to say. Uh, but, you know, you, you've shown some success here. Uh, and as night falls, a growl is heard from most of your stomachs as it is dinner time. Uh, what say you? What do you want to do? Uh, are we out of the tunnel for the night? I say we just go back to... Uh... My home is where I want to go. The home. I want to get something to eat. Yeah, I can. I, I don't know if I can do that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah let's go get some food. I can go try to do it. Well, okay. I got I got two votes food, one vote home. Not, or three votes food, one vote home. I want to see if I get, have food in the house. Yeah, actually. That's fine. Uh, you, There's a food place right across from the house. Won't we hit it and then uh, head over? Well, the food place uh, where you guys came out is right here. Yeah, there's that too. So I, I, it doesn't matter if you go in to split the party. You're within a walled community. Safety is almost assured here. Yeah, right. So who wants to go home? Show of hands, please. <laughs> One. Everybody else going to the tavern? Yeah, I'll get some to eat. Tavern. Uh, do you want to do the tavern where you're close to or the tavern across from the house? The one where we're close to is bigger. Okay. Won't we hit it? Cool beans. I do not think uh, you guys have been in that one yet, have you? Nope. Where do you get kicked out? Uh, this place is called Ye Old Suds. Um, you are familiar with it from your caravan days, uh, but you haven't been in here in the last couple of weeks. Uh, you go in, you'll note that it is famous for something called karaoke uh where bards will play a tune and people will come up and sing karaoke not karaoke karaoke uh and it's not to everybody's taste but we all know when ralph gets drunk uh his cares seem to go into the wind so barnum you are headed back home the other four are headed into the tavern, uh, being that it is dinner time. This place is packed. Who wants to roll against me to see if you get a table or you got to sit at the bar? I will. D12. Uh, 10. Four. There is a table open. Wonderful. And it is uh, right next what? to somebody you guys recognize. No. Mr. Monopoly, no. the Garnet boss, is present with his wife. He sees garnet. you. Let's say Garnet. Wasn't that the ones that fired us? That's yeah. the ones that fired you. I'm, okay. I'm going to set right with my back to their table. Okay. In case I feel a need to squeeze my glands. <laughs> <laughs> squeeze your glands would be code for drinking alcohol, correct? Uh, yeah, kind of. Yeah, sure. That's what I thought. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Where is your glands? Who the hell's that? Okay. So you guys uh, all grab a seat. Uh, everybody give me a perception roll. Hold on. <sighs> oh, I natural got, 20. I got, I got 12. 6. 20. I'm a little preoccupied. 16. Uh, Leon, Beal, Gornak. 
You notice uh, members from the Brotherhood of Kaz have just entered the establishment. Ralph, of course, you don't pay attention to this because uh, another one of your lady friends is working uh, waitress here, and she sees you and gives you the uh, wink uh, and brings you over a tall boy of oh. ale while the others receive a normal one, and she asks that... Uh, she heard that uh, you were uh, tortilla. Tortilla. Yes, of course. I was in tortilla. I'll I'll regale her with the story of the heroism on the trail. Uh, how I encountered a bear and slayed it, or something along those lines. I'll make something else up. Okay, that's right. She, of course, is talking about the bachelorette party. Oh, I. <laughs> what the hell is he going on about? I don't know. He, he's trying to impress somebody. I was trying to impress her. Yeah. Jenna, uh, roll me a persuasion. In case when you've told so many lies, you can't remember them anymore. That's that's true. 17. Ah, she, she, hook, line, and sinker on that one. She is just smitten away. Uh, she'll go ahead and take the four of yours orders, uh, and she will rapidly come back just to spend more time with the luscious Ralph. Meanwhile, Did you Barnum. She was a goblin. <laughs> can't hear you. Your mic is up. Did you Did you say that she was a goblin? She's a goblin, goblin in the streets, a hobgoblin in the sheets. <laughs> oh, there you go, baby. There you go. Oh yeah, um, no. Barnum. As you, was my kryptonite. <laughs> as you arrive back to your house, you notice that there is a light on. Who's leaving? This stuff costs money. Who's leaving lights on? I don't know. Are you gonna go in the front door, peek in the windows, go around the back door? What do you want to do? Uh, going around the back door, peeking in the windows, being cautious, moving There's, silently. Uh, give me a stealth roll. At uh, disadvantage, probably. No, no disadvantage. Ah. Oh, well, that's because that's Sophie. That's <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, disadvantage. Uh, All right. Eight. Uh as you reach the back door, it opens on its own, giving you full view of a, a, a large individual with a large ponytail. His tan skin uh, indicates to you that he's mountain folk, uh, unlike Ralph, who's just hill folk. Uh, but this guy is a very broad chested dwarf, um, and he is drinking some of your shit. <laughs> And he's sitting in a chair. Someone has opened the door. Uh, and as you look in, it is a similar clad individual. Uh, beads in their beard. Uh, we've been waiting for you. Come on in. <laughs> Who the hell are you? What are you doing in my house? What's going on here? Shut up, mother. I can take care of this. <laughs> the dwarf asks if you have anything other than this cheap swill. Okay. No, I bought it from a dwarf. That's all I got. Uh, no self-respecting mountain dwarf would drink this piss. Must have been nah. one of those hill dwarves. That's who drinks it. Uh, he points out that his name is Eeyore. Yes, Eeyore. Uh, hence the tail on top of his head. Uh, and he points out uh, he's heard things of you. Uh, he goes on a litany rampage of uh, how you guys got sacked because you were substandard and uh, not very good, not not even close to as good as Hamish Tennyson is, uh, but he possibly has a job for you. What? <laughs> I have a job for you and your associates. Oh, oh. Oh, so pay. What's the job? What's the job? What's the job? Well, I am Eeyore of the Kandarsi Empire. You know that this empire is the mountain chain uh, to the west. Uh, and he points out that uh, he has recently uncovered a map to the ruins of Moritz. Uh, he, he starts to describe it. Uh, give me an insight check. See if you understand what he's talking about. Now that I can roll on. 
18. So as he goes about explaining it, A, you know that the mountain dwarves were all below ground in the Cardassian Empire. Uh, but the thing he's describing seems to be an open air watchtower, you know, kind of like a air vent, if you will, but it's to allow a close inspection of the surrounding area. It's called a guard outpost. Uh, and he points as he's droning on the Cardan, uh, the Kandarsi Empire is split. They, they've had a huge humanoid uh, infestation, if you will. And they are trying to recoup some of their losses. They have gone so far as to go out and seek mercenaries such as yourself. So he would like to know if you and your cohorts would be interested in a cool... Three hundred gold pieces each. <laughs> Three hundred for that six, mess. Six hundred. Three to six. Boy, that jumps really quick. Oh, um, no. I don't know. I don't know. He really sounds that he wants you to clean out this guard tower because that is an area that is is currently a hub for the infestation. He'd go ahead and do it himself, but he's got other pressing matters. Don't say no, please. That's still a lot. Really? Uh, 600 a piece. No. I mean, I guess that is pretty good. 600 a piece. I have a map if you want the job. For 600 a piece? Yeah. Okay. I can go uh, over with my cohorts and ensure that they're on board. But we have tentatively struck a deal if you want they are out as of right now i can tell there's nobody here yeah they'll be back soon now and i can go over with them then and we can meet up tomorrow and finalize uh it would have to be early we need this job taken care of rather rapidly if you understand my meaning uh -huh. hence the jump in pay that is fine uh let's meet at first light we're out Right back here. I'll meet you at the front door. So. As you wish. Uh, he motions to his associate. Uh, the associate, in a very high-pitched voice, you have a very lovely home here. <laughs> clearly, Ooh, the, clearly, clearly, the beads indicate maybe it's a female dwarf. You aren't <laughs> sure because her, her beard is still way better than yours, so it's hard to say. Uh, they leave. Wish you good morrow, and uh, we'll come back. Uh, he points out half in advance, though. That's the best I can do. Half in advance when the deal is struck. Very good. Uh, he leaves. Uh, he goes out the door, up the street to the left. Meanwhile, back at ye old <laughs> suds, uh, the waitress, Jen A, uh, is all over Ralph. Just oh, yeah all over him uh gornak beal and leon you, you you aren't sure if it's the food or just this uh vast uh oozing over ralph uh the mountain dwarf but this lady is uh whew, smitten is a dull word uh keep in mind leon behind you uh members of the brotherhood of Kaz are sitting at the table with monopoly uh, Beal and Gornak, you see all of this unfolding. Beal and Gornak, uh, straight up D20, each of you, please. Hold on. D20. 16. Uh, just Gornak and uh, Beal. Ah, okay. I got a natural 20 on that I got one. a 19. Natural. Nice. Na natural 20. Gornak, you see three individuals that you recognize. Beal, you see two individuals that you recognize. Beal, when did you join us? Has she been here the whole time in B? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> okay. So she started, uh, this, she started B with us. Okay. So you two notice three individuals, two male and a female. Uh, and, and you know who they are. You know it, but give me insight checks. Insight. It's under I for insight. Not under E. 
Oh, right. you roll like your brother. <sighs> it's fine. I got a four. <laughs> uh, you two, man, you know you know who these people are, but you're clueless. You don't. You cannot remember it. I even totally remember that. I guess if right. they look in our direction, if we like, well, I'm staring at them, trying to figure out who they are. If they look at me, I'll wave. They are they are kind of hunched over like this. Every once in a while, taking a look around, they're kind of in an alcove table setting. Uh, clearly, they are are trying not to be seen. Uh, at that moment in time, the door bursts open, and a very boisterous individual. Yells out, drinks on me. Thanks. And you guys recognize Hamish Tenson uh, walk through the door with a bunch of his toady lackeys. Uh, everybody cheers. Oh, huzzah, huzzah. Not uh, everybody. Oh, smells like bullshit. <laughs> uh, every, everybody is clapping him on the back, you know, hero. You know, that guy's awesome, uh, except for Leon, who's ex- expressing his pouches. Is he expressing his anal glands? That's right. Get, so, getting ready to. <laughs> to. So to give you guys the layout, Brotherhood of Kaz with Monopoly, three strangers or two strangers, depending on who you ask, Ralph is knee-deep in lipstick. Monopoly's Again. Monopoly sitting right okay. behind me with his wife. And the Brotherhood of Kaz. I'm going to go ahead and rip one off. Kind of okay. lift up and aim it behind me a little bit and let one blow out there. Get the roll to hit. Nope, because at that moment in time, uh, you hear what you're pretty sure is some kind of magical pyrotechnic. Uh, and that methane burns off rapidly. Uh, Arnhem, or I'm sorry, Beal, Gornak, and Ralph. Ralph at disadvantage because he's making time. Uh, give me perception checks. Uh, Four. Ah! For perception. I can't see anything with you doing that. Gornak. Oh, I forgot. God, you suck. God, Beal. Perception. I have an advantage on this. Hey, look at that. 16. Uh, you noticed that one of the Brotherhood of Cast sent out uh, a firebolt uh, that didn't hit Leon. Doesn't appear as though it was supposed to hit Leon, but that uh, allowed the methane in the room to quickly exasperate itself. So is the room on fire or? Nope. It's just like if you uh, lit a balloon. Mm. Just a real blast all right cool as he did that to himself uh didn't hurt me mexican that you ate earlier Mm -hmm. so you guys have a plethora of choices here or you can sit quietly and enjoy your meal that uh well we have not slobbered on i haven't ordered a meal yet kind of like to get that going oh sure yeah what do you want well, you're going to have to get Jenna's attention, and right now Ralph seems to be absorbing most of it. I'm going to get Ralph's Ooh. attention. Okay. I'm going to give Ralph a yell at Ralph. Yeah, you, yeah, you. yeah. Hold on, hold on. No, no holding on. We need food, Ralph. Tell her now. Whoa. Did somebody? No, because he burned it off. Where you been? Uh, inside a mouth, apparently. <laughs> well, fine, dude. Talk Captain her, Hugs man. there. Woo. Yeah, Ralph is back to reality here. Uh, that's good because the bartender is quite upset at Jen A, uh, and uh, bartender Forrest has decided that she needs to get her butt in gear and is not quite as kind as I just said it. Uh, and she starts to hustle drinks. So, Leon, going to be a few minutes because Jen A is helping with other tables. Mm. I will go up to the bar okay. and tell him I'd like to get some food. What kind of food? What have you got? What's got cooking? everything. What's, What's cooking? cooking? Today we got fresh fish. No shrimp? That's I think it. a place like this would have shrimp. We do have shrimp normally, but my man Bubba has not returned with it. <laughs> How dare he? Hopefully he didn't crash your boat. 
Okay, I think it's time to go eat somewhere else. <laughs> you got what? Well, you yep. got stew? You got a haunch of venison or something? We got stew. We got haunch. Uh, we got a meal that's called spaghetti. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's send it's over it. noodles with ketchup on it. Yeah, over pretty to, much. To the, to the table over there, send over a round <laughs> of stew and a haunch of venison. Will do, sir. I'll uh, take the mystery meat. <laughs> Everything is a mystery meat to you. <laughs> it says uh, venison, but they don't know what kind of venison. Mm-hmm. Back at the house, there, Barnum. Uh, you just had two strangers in your home drinking your shit. What do you want to do? Uh, I believe that was my oh, shit. Just, it, it was your shit. My shit. Not anymore. Well, <laughs> well, just I'm wait till I get back. I'm, well, I'm, after I escort them out and shut the door, I'm going to look for some food in the house. Sure. Uh, they the seem house as is. So. They, they seem to uh, have found some of the food. Uh, not quite the cleanest guests you've had here, uh, and that includes the two bloody guys you had in the cellar. Uh, the dwarves seem to have ransacked the cabinetry and found a lot of food that they sampled uh, but did not enjoy. <laughs> Damn dwarves. It's, it, the, watch the movie The Hobbit. The dwarves are slobs. Let them in your house. They're slobs. At least the ones in The Hobbits clean the hell up afterwards. Yep, not these. Well, you escorted them out. So give me a uh, constitution roll. Let's see if you can find some food. If not, I guess I'm going across the street. Constitution says 12. <laughs> uh, you find stuff. It's not the greatest stuff, but you find some stuff that they either slowly or lightly sampled or they didn't like at all. Possibly greens, maybe salad. <laughs> I'll run across the street, grab a bowl of porridge or something like that from the Goodness. bar across the street. Just bring it back. Uh, okay. Uh, however, give me a perception check. Perception, I can dally dally. 17. There's an individual in the back trying to elude your gaze. Uh, he seems to have a, an olive vest on. Oh, really? Yep. Uh, and he sees you look at him. What's he doing? He's uh, kind of scanning the area for what you would surmise is an escape route. Okay. How far away? Is he about 30 foot? Uh, he's on the other side. He's about 45 feet away across a packed common room. I'm going to look around, see if there's anybody else. Just regular folks. A couple people that you know. Uh, some of the other caravan dudes that replaced you. Uh, nobody of note or interest. All right. No other olive vests? Nope. Just him. And he makes a beeline to the back. I'm moving right along after him. It's pretty crowded. You're going to need to give me three dex checks, please. Three dex checks. I am not the dexterity god like Nicholas. That's a fall on my face. Four. Yep, you crash right into the waitress. Soaked a table of... (sighs) Barbarians. (laughs) (laughs) So, they arise slowly and one of them pokes his hot dog sized fingers into your chest and says you spill my drink you owe me drink and a, a friend a female taps him on the shoulder and says <clears throat> us drinks my associate means you owe us beverages please replace this beverage uh, order or we shall uh have a problem, my friend. Uh, yeah, looking at this, looking at this barbarian, you can tell she's mountain folk, but she's a human. Uh, she's uh, tattooed with sigils across her face. Her charisma is uh, one seventeen. Uh, dressed in classy armor, uh, but you you you're familiar with these barbarians, uh, at least the ones with the sigils tattooed on the face. They are 
pretty rough customers. Uh, the fact that she can communicate in money or uh, more than one syllable words is quite impressive. So she must have been a slave uh, released into their custody. Uh, but she makes a valid point. There are four of them, and you have spilled all of their drinks. Well, I tell you what. Run in the back and grab that <coughs> and that olive green vest, and I'll buy you two drinks. Just bring them back to me. I'm afraid you fail to understand the situation you're in, friend. Uh, you spilled our drinks. Yes, so I buy but, you that, and then you bring him back, and I buy you a second round on top of that. Deal. Uh, the waitress picks herself up. Eh, she's not real happy because you uh, tap- drop a silver right on her tray. Say, I'm sorry. Okay, there you go. Uh, the barbarians, as you try and move around for a better look, they hold you and say, oh, you got to wait. We got to make sure. Uh, a minute passes. The drinks return. They start to drink. Um, You're letting the person get away. Friend, I'm savoring my beverage. So you don't want the second one? <clears throat> Describe the individual. Short, olive green vest. About yay tall. Male, female. Male. Yeah. Just ran that way. Okay. She reaches underneath the table and she pulls out this giant rat. It's almost two feet across. The rat just zooms into the back and heads out the back door uh, where the olive vest guy went. Stop him before he jumps in the deep fryer. She repositions herself to make sure that her armor fits. She goes, we'll be right back. Get the drinks now. Uh, are you going to wait or are you going to follow them? I'll call for the, I'll put the drink order in, but I'm going to follow. Okay. I'll That's pay right. for their drinks when they return. Sure. Just let the waitress know. <clears throat> Give me two more dexterity checks. Make sure you don't bungle your way through this again. I fumbled. <laughs> Uh, this it time, is hard to watch. And then I, I fumbled the first one in natural 20 right after. I've gone to the extremes of both sides. Nice. Well, as you start to make a crossing, uh, you bump into a druid uh, who is getting up, asks you if there's an issue. No issue. Just trying to make my way through to save the forest. Do be careful. Well done. Uh, Next 20, uh, you go out the back door, you just catch a slight glimpse of the barbarians round in the corner. You give chase, uh, and they clearly are moving faster than you are, uh, and they're going to wind their way around the city. Back in the tavern, Leon has placed the or food orders. Mm -hmm. Your haunch and stew arrives. One small pot center of the table, not brought by Jen A. Uh, she is busy. <coughs> and Ralph, uh, she seems to be busy with some other customers. So yeah, we're going to, I told her we're going to meet up later. <coughs> cool. That works. Uh, yeah. the food arrives. Everybody do constitution check. Let's see how you like it. Check. What, me? Yeah. If you're going to eat the haunch and stew. Seven. Hey, that's a 23. Not a fan. See right there. Well, 23. I think this there. is really yeah. good. You do indeed. Hey, look at 14. that. 14. 14. She can digest it. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. It's not bad. Leon? Muted. You said Muted, 14. Leon. Sorry, 14. It's okay. Uh, Ralph, what'd you think? Seven. I'm not a fan. Needs hot sauce or something. Yeah, uh, it's, it's something's left a bad taste in your mouth. Probably her tongue. <laughs> <laughs> as you guys uh finished the dinner leon 
Tap, tap, tap on your shoulder. I'll look up, see who it is. Monopoly. And it's just he and his wife. Brotherhood of Kaz have moved on. So I understand you found yourself a job hunting children down in the catacombs. I'm going to stand up and look down at him. And I'm going to say what we hunt is our business and I don't hunt. I kill. <coughs> so you're killers now, are you? I'm I just heard gonna, you missed one. Just going to smile. Well, if you guys ever get tired of babysitting, I have a job for you. I don't think we want any of your jobs, Monopoly. It's off the books. Good paying. Just Who do like, you want? Who is it you want killed? I don't want anybody killed. Uh, it's just come to light that uh, caused me great concern. And as you may or may not know, uh, Hamish is leaving for Edgewood in the morning. Uh, but I need somebody to go to Peakwood. The other way. Uh, and quite honestly, uh, I don't know. You know. I feel bad that the, the company had to let you go. And I'm just trying to make it the goodness of my heart. Yep. But you're going to feel worse <laughs> if you don't get out of my face. He's just, he's just sitting there. Just sitting well, there. Oh, so he's still sitting in his chair tapping me on the shoulder. Because mm -hmm. if you don't want the job, that's, that's your business. I'm sure you guys are doing quite uh well, but uh, if you change your mind, we can always use a good person like yourself. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to smile again, turn around. I'm not going to say a word. Fart on him and sit back down. Fair enough. Uh, Ralph, Beal, Gornak, perception check to see if you overheard this. Any part of it. You know, the best, the best part came last. See if you heard it. 15. I think everybody heard the best part. I got an 18. Six. Wow. <laughs> I heard it. <laughs> I think I heard it at 15. Be, be, you, you must have been flossing or something. Ralph, uh, you heard the ending, especially. D12 uh, against me to see if you heard the middle. Three. Uno, uh, you also wow. heard the middle. Gornak, you heard all of its entirety. Uh, and you heard high paying job, is what you heard. Uh, we'll play Chinese telephones. Ralph, you heard a moderate amount of money. Uh, and of course, Leon heard the whole thing because he was doing it. Beal, you heard nothing. <laughs> <clears throat> Probably because. <clears throat> a druid a good looking druid to your standards has walked in and gives you the old Blimey. so the, uh, Asian <laughs> anime druid uh, no he's blind <laughs> <laughs> blind druid he's so blind. I can't see who you are <laughs> oh you guys are all mean I'm gonna fit <laughs> I'm going to finish my meal. Okay. Now, Beal, uh, in fairness, you might have been looking at Ralph. You aren't real sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, Beal, he's looking at you. That's why you're uh, distracted. <laughs> so, Leon you're is distracted. <laughs> looking at the men. Leon is uh, going to finish his meal. Ralph and Gornak, uh, any any interest peaked in the, the high, the middle paying job? I heard, I heard money, so my interest is already peaked. <laughs> Okay. Fire me uh, once and shame on you. Fire me <coughs> twice and shame on me. Yeah. Now, Ralph, you would not have heard off the books. Gornak would have heard off the books. Ah, so this is this company story. business. This is personal business. All right. So it's nothing company. I was. I wasn't. I was fine with the company when I got fired. I didn't care that much. I wasn't angry or happy about it. So I guess if I'm close I, to him, I'll tap him on the shoulder and sure. ask him about this certain off-the-book job. Okay. Ralph, what are you doing? I have no interest to get involved with that guy. Okay. He uh, 
Nah, he burned me once. I don't like the company. Don't fool you. It, burn me twice. Fool, fool you again. Yeah, shame on me. <clears throat> so, Gordak, you go over there. Uh, Monopoly has you sit down. And he says, uh, job is 250 gold pieces each. Uh, I need a safe escort uh, for some individuals. Uh, not friends. Let's just say... Uh, business associates uh and they're concerned for their safety so they would like to go to peakwood um but they're gonna need an escort just look of how many of just as any as you can find or three individuals uh if you want to take them yourself that's fine but their safety must be guaranteed so you might want to hire somebody to help okay <clears throat> and this is just from here to Peakwood. Yep. Just uh, one quarter turns. Uh, if you guys, I'll go ahead and share it. <clears throat> you guys are currently in Yintons. Yintons. Right here, and you're going to Peakwood. And Hamish is going to Edgewood. And of course, you guys are not allowed in Faust anymore. <laughs> <laughs> What's shocking Sorry, about that? <laughs> Where's the mountain that they were talking about? The ruins are right here. So not too far away again. No, uh, it is mountainous terrain, so it is going to take you a while. But what, uh, Wasn't that one of the quests we had offered a long time ago? It was indeed one of the first quests offered. How do you know? I recycle. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. No that's, so that's a good quest. So that towers in the Cardassian Empire. It's kind of a broad range. The Kardashian Empire. Yeah, no one liked the. Yeah, apparently they were Kardashian Empire so. also. <laughs> yeah, the mountains are made of plastic. I don't want to go to everything else made of plastic. Mm -hmm. There, that's terrible. Yeah, aren't aren't, aren't the Kardashian Empire not doing so well? Aren't they like having like internal problems? Uh, I don't care. Back to that, the game. That, that would be the Kardashians in Star Trek: The Next Generation. <laughs> Well, that's what I was talking about. What are you guys talking about? Oh, nothing. So, uh, Leon, uh, Beal doesn't see yep. you spot. I'm uh, Leon and Ralph, you notice that Gornak, uh, the diplomat, uh, seems to be talking with the enemy. I have someone basically fretting. Not my enemy, but your enemy. I'm going to say to Ralph, that cub needs to get That'd his head normal. out of his rectum. Yep. My head is in the clouds where it's supposed oh, to be. Hey, Gornak, come record. over here for a second. I will Please tell Mr. Mon Apule yeah. to My hang me a second. Yeah. Sure, he'll give you a second. And I'm right. gonna Excuse me, Gornak and be like, I don't care how much he's offering you, it's not worth it. I'm telling you, kid, it's, he's going to burn you again. I mean, I could, it's only 200. To go from two hundred, they're only going to you two hundred to go from here to Peakwood. Sign me up. Money question. Here to Peakwood. <laughs> I think I so, could. I think I could get more out of them if I tried. Oh, you do. I, I, I think I think I could if I tried. What do you have to do for two hundred? Just escort from here to Peakwood. You know, escorts from here to peak. And you might run I'm across not. Hamish on the way, but you know, you know. Hamish is good, and they say Hamish, Hamish is going, is going the, other the way. opposite direction, so he wouldn't. There shouldn't be any problems with him. That's what is. he's telling the, we'll take the it up law, Johnny Law. Escorting what? A few friends of his hasn't said it out. Business I, will, I should ask him, but he hadn't said associates. Associates, he says. Associates. So you're transporting prisoners, Probably. political prisoners. Most likely, yeah. Yeah, prisoners of war. Yeah. Well, two hundred. I mean, sign me up for two hundred. Money question. All right. I'll try and see if I can get a deal. She's all alone, so I think she'll be very gullible to this. So she's actually making time with a druid. I'm not doing anything. He's got, the, he's got this just... aroma about him from this herbage. And uh, yeah, he's got a scraggly beard and he's got a lute that he plays. No, no. He's very clean <laughs> cut, has some female looking facial features. You know, has a, has a little bit of like an almond shaped eye. Smoke, he's smoking a blunt. So he's like the Korean band kids. 
Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. It's very into, you know. I'm going to die down here now. Dresses and, you know, speaking I'll be down here. weird foreign language. He's also Taiwanese and a man yes. that dresses like a woman. He's a lady boy. <laughs> yeah, he's a lady boy. <laughs> I'm so, done eating. I'm going to ask, <laughs> tell Ralph I'm heading back to the house now. <laughs> So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, yeah, that, that sounds good. Okay. I'll meet. I'll catch up with you. I'm leaving. Okay, you you head back. Uh, give me a perception check, Leon. <coughs> um, sixteen and three nineteen. Well, no, you're, you're uh, you pass by two dwarves. Give you the old nod. I'll nod back. Head on uh, out. You get to the house. Uh, uh, he didn't extinguish the light because he was just running across the street. So uh, front door's unlocked and there's a light on. Kitchen's a wreck. But no Barnum. Mm. He's been kidnapped. Oh. <laughs> ah, okay. My only friend, I think. Well, I'll go on in and, and make sure there's a fire going. Sure. Uh, you, you get the digs warmed up, yep. uh, B or Barnum, uh, you are moving as fast as you can. There's a lot of, uh, debris in this area of the city, uh, jumping over stuff. And as you round the corner, you come to four barbarians leaning up against a wall and there's a big stack of wood in front of them. And they're just kind of standing there. I'm going How to Shashe over and at a distance, though. How do you do, fellow kids? And say, How are we doing? One second. How do you do, fellow kids? You hear a screech come out from underneath the wood pile. Uh, <laughs> the wood goes flying everywhere, and out comes this. A uh, dainty individual in an olive green vest, and he's got a rat attached to his leg that's biting him. <laughs> I got to get he, me one of them. The, the lady <laughs> barbarian says, "You owe." I do. I did pay the bar. I did pay the uh, waitress, so she does have uh, everything you need. And one, two. Three. How many of them is there? Four? Four. Now we give them each an added gold piece on top of it. They'll accept that. And uh, thanks and let, hog tie. Let, oh, we'll, we'll drag them back wherever you want. Well, you're going back to the bar. I just I paid for your drinks. She's got them waiting on you. In that place? Yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, you, you will escort us back to the bar. Make sure that our beverages are waiting for us. Uh, grog want, grog want ale. Uh, uh, you need to escort us back there to make sure that your end of the deal is upheld, please. Oh, that's fine. She is very eloquent. The other two haven't said not a word. Did they hog tie the boy? If that's what you want. Yeah, hog tie the boy, drag him back. When we get back, you see the waitress with your drinks. I'll take she, it from there. Has, she has uh, almost shoelace size ties. Uh, she the rat lets go of the screamer, goes up, props on her shoulder. She says, down. Uh, the kid starts to talk. She boots him in the face, knocks him <laughs> flat on the ground, sticks her boot right in his chest. And just like she's putting out a cigarette, starts grinding on it, and he uh, howls in pain. Uh, the two that haven't said anything, you hear them go, <laughs> <laughs> which is not a sound you would have expected out of these humongous individuals. Uh, but nonetheless, they take great delight in this. Uh, she kicks him over and ties him like she's at a rodeo. Uh, she says, you're... Are you, you're going to take care of this while we go back, or do you want us to drag him back to the bar? I thought you said you're going to take him back to the bar, and then uh, once you see your payment, then I will leave from there. Okay. Uh, the two quiet ones pick him up by the ears. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I go back for a 
Uh, and he howls the entire way back. I'm going to shove a rag in his mouth. Okay. How bad for you? You guys are evil. These are my kind of boys right here. <laughs> it, are you going to go in the back door again? Or are you going to go in the front door? We'll go back in the back. Okay. Uh, the, the cook is not happy that you guys are dragging this guy through there. Okay, uh, so well, they can deal with the along. barbarians if the cook doesn't like it. <laughs> yeah. So you guys get back up there. There are four drinks because nobody is stupid enough to mess with these barbarians' drinks. Uh, yeah. You're the only one that was dumb enough to go ahead and cause a disturbance. Uh, they see that. They unceremoniously dump this orphan uh, and sit back down. Pleasure doing business with you, Captain. Until we meet again. Mm. You guys do services around quite often, or are you just down here partaking in a few city luxuries before returning? Uh, we have a couple of jobs lined up currently that we're inquiring about. And she's very... Uh, it's almost like she's very well educated, but her appearance belies that of a mountain person. Uh, so clearly, a good-looking mountain person. A good-looking mountain 17. person. So you're, you're clearly on the fence. My ears are burning. <laughs> what Barbarella's issue is here? Barbarella wants a real man, not a hill dwarf. <laughs> well, I heard "good-looking mountain person," and I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> So of course, you're talking about Ralph. Obviously. He appears. <laughs> Somebody call. <coughs> it's like a what, are, what, what jobs do you have going on? Uh, I don't want to compete with you. That might be a job that somebody's offered me too. She looks at you. <laughs> don't let the package fool you, baby. <laughs> it's filled with TNT. <laughs> it's explosive. Ah. Uh, just a couple yeah, of things we're checking on here. So, yeah, she, she's going to go ahead and politely decline. All right. Until we meet again. And I'm going to step out, grab my uh, package. Sure. Escort it. We'll go right back out the back, the door we just came out of. And we'll go out the back and around front. Oh, okay. Uh, we'll the, cook, the, house. the cook is mad again and asks if you're going to pay for your food. I did. I paid the out front. Are you going to take it? Yes. Okay. I uh, he throws it up into a greasy uh, sack, and you got takeout. <laughs> Chinese takeout. Ling Chang's Chinese takeout. <laughs> I want to head with my takeout and my uh, gift basket and head back to the uh, house. Fair enough. You will find Leon in there. Ralph uh, Beal. And Gornak. Uh, Beal, uh, the druid is really giving you the old hot and heavy argument. Uh, asks what you're doing later tonight. Can I intervene really? while she can I intervene while this is happening? I would like you, to. You, you may you may save her, wingman. Oh thank god. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I stopped it. Bye. You're so loud. I'm gonna, can I, All right. I've intervened and said, hey, I need uh, to talk to you about a job we have, and then say, can we have a moment to the other guy? Uh, sure. Hawaiian Tropic stands uh, between nothing. That's his name. Hawaiian Tropic. The Druid. Wow. All right. Well, I'll pull her over to the table that Ralph was at, where we were originally talking. Uh, Ralph has been joined by Jen A again. God. The, the crowd is lightening up. You're now, right. Then I guess the bards are starting to tune their instruments and they don't sound very good. Mm. All right. So I'll just kind of face away from Jen A just in case. Sure. And I'll tell her that this is an, I'll tell her all about it and that it's, that it's a 200 gold piece job. Money. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ralph, perception check at disadvantage. One. You're lucky that was a disadvantage. That would have been a critical. Ooh. So you got a 20 and a one. Uh, Jen A is working her magic on you, and you have no idea what's going on anywhere else. I'm going to uh, try to tell Jen A that she should uh, poison Monopoly's drink over there. Oh, I can't well, do that. I'm, what's that? I can't do that. 
Oh, I'm sure you can, baby. Come on. It's me we're talking about. Do it for just me. Just a prank. It's just a He's prank. He's my father. It's just a prank. It'll be funny. <laughs> It'll be funny. He has good. a great sense of humor. Help. I know him from college. He's my father. <laughs> I'll say whatever it takes. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Jen A is reluctant to go ahead and poison her father. This is not a Macbeth play, for God's sake. No one kills Ronaldo. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, she gets up, smacks you across the cheek for even saying something. Not that you were unused to this kind of activity, but eh, <laughs> you had forgotten in the misty vapors that were going through your head that Jen A is the daughter of Monopoly, uh, who takes a very prudish look about this. Not quite as prudish as uh, Barnum with the Druid, but, you know. (laughs) So, uh, Gornak has explained to you, Beal, what's going on. It's a job. It's 200 gold pieces each. Interesting. Okay, so what? So, oh. It doesn't matter. What are you going to do? It's telling you about a job. 200. 200. 250. Yes. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I said 250. He's telling you guys 200. Oh, that cheat. Yeah, but you guys didn't hear that. Oh, oh, we didn't hear that. I was just yeah. typing that to the. Uh, yeah, you told me. I I remember. I only. I was like, I mentioned you two hundred, and I forgot that it was two fifty, and that would have. This is what happens made. when yeah. he found his uncle and grandfather. No, no, this is perfect. Play. This is how the game was meant to be played. Uh huh. That is, that is true. Huh. And Sophia, did what did you roll for perception when they were talking? A six. Okay, then you didn't hear the price amount, so I'm just telling nope. you, and it's fact. Correct. Uh, Ralph and uh, Beal and Leon do not know what the price is. Okay. Good. Only the diplomat knows. So perfect. Uh, I'll describe it as noise. Uh, whoever they hired to play these tunes, it's like a cover band for uh, an eighth grade death metal band. Mm. It's just. Really bad. You can tell this is going to be an uncomfortable setting. And you can see the people are leaving in droves. Beal and Gornak, perception checks. I thought thought maybe he was going to say it was those dwarven throat singers. Eight. Gornak. That's perception, right? Yep. Oh, God. Oh, that was- I think we need to liven this party up with some uh, karaoke. Wow. Gornak's <laughs> just as good as his sister right I now. Seven. I have- wow. Uh, okay, you have no idea what's going on in the shadows then. Ralph has suggested uh, to try this karaoke. Uh, karaoke, yes. How it goes. Do you guys want to try and uh, get up there with uh, oh, God's Bane death metal God, group God. of gnomes. Death metal. Five fingered Godsmack. Yeah, I'll go up yeah, there with them. And they're called. I, I'm three just... fingered gnome toes. <laughs> what, do you, what, what, what do you want them to play, Ralph? Oh, they're definitely going to play the best tune in the land. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna I walk up to him. And, 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 I'm gonna whisper to him something, and they're. I'm, I'm hoping that they know it. What was that flute song that was the first ever like song to win like mm. the heavy metal award and like the? You, you mean the, like that Vol uh, Bitters uh, theme song? That's what. That's they exactly what's going on. And a one, and a two. Here comes the king. Here comes the king. Here comes the number one. one. <laughs> uh, and we're that, gonna uh, belt out the lyrics to that. Well, give me a performance check. Let's see how oh, you do. Boy. Performance? Yeah, you're, I'm going to look at Jenny and hopefully that's a fumble. I fumbled that. I, I that's a one. Uh, well, your as, you, as you're giving it your all, oh, no, no, you can look no. down and see Monopoly and his wife just shooting daggers at you for defiling their daughter. Come on. Perform, Sophia. Roll your performance. I don't, don't want to I'm just going to continue on. Roll it. Fine. I'm rolling performance now because I'm being forced to. Roll your performance. By a I'm gonna. I'm gonna 
tag somebody else in because I can feel that I'm losing the crowd here. I'm going to try to wave somebody else up to me. Uh, you're going to do I Barnum or Barnum? So uh, I, I think guess. Barnum. Come on, Barnum. Come up here. Or, you know this too. Sorry, Beal. 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 Yeah, Beal. Okay, Beal. Beal. You know this too. And wave I'm gonna, <laughs> I'll measure to get up there so I can have a talk with Mr. Monopoly again. I don't. Okay. I got a 12 for my performance check. Okay. Uh, the, uh, her, she's a little bit more in tune with the crowd. They appreciate, you know, a, a mixed sex group here. So, okay. She's, she's starting to get them back. Uh, Gornak, you can go over and talk to Mr. Monopoly, whom you notice is just. I'll, I'll tell him. With Ralph. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell him. I'm sorry for my associates for offending you in this way. I, I'll, I'll get back to them about that certain problem. Well, I'll tell you what, if Ralph were to have a certain accident, that price might be double. <laughs> say again. <laughs> An accident, you say. Okay, I see where, where you're going with this. I, I can, all right. Um, ah! Well, I can tell them that I have Ralph on board. I have him on board. So if this accident occurs, oh. it'll be between the three of us, including Beale. If I, I just need to work her a little bit more just to get her on board. And then we'll well, I never got to say my answer, so. Okay. But your escort will be assured and they will be safe. Fair enough. Uh, Jen A., uh, he calls for his daughter to come over, and uh, they thank you and then leave the premises. Leon, uh, the door opens up, and you can hear a body being drugged. Uh, as you come around the corner, you see that Barnum has returned with one olive vest in tow, uh, bleeding slightly from a leg injury. What you got, Barnum? That's a gift. Look what I happened to find when I was getting my Chinese food. How did you get a child? You're not there. Dang it! Little gift to the group. Throw them out in the middle. Nice. Oh, there. Am I seeing? Yeah. I gave it a poke. Where'd you find it? I was right across the street. He's acting kind of suspicious. Kind of looking like he was trying to run. He ran out the door and I accidentally knocked over a few drinks and Kind of struck a deal with a few other barbarians. They chased him down, hog tied him up, carried him back for me, and I bought him a couple extra drinks. Oh, hmm. What are you going to do with him? Well, I figured we extract some information from him first. He was a slave. And then we'll take care of it. Wow. Cold, man. <laughs> you never know what you can find out from a good hostage. No, is this, a, is, this, is this the one to run up out of the caverns? Or just another green? It is the one? Yeah. You th you're pretty sure it is. You didn't get a good look at it. <clears throat> good enough. We're going to count it as the last one anyway. That's fine. I think words already got out what we were doing, so. Stop, please. So uh, let's, let's ask, ask him, you know, where's, uh, where do you guys keep your stash? <laughs> Gonna pull his gag out. I forgot about that. What's a stash? Right. I've got to put my sock back on. Nice. <laughs> I'm gonna say oh. jock back on, but okay. I was going to do uh, it yeah. against it. Uh, but it'd be a loincloth in this situation. So no, that'd be a little bit it's of a heavy easy. gag. <clears throat> you know, stash. Where do you guys store the goods you steal? Down in the caves. Where in the caves? Do you have your, any... life, your life depends on the right answer. Really? I've had his sock in my mouth. What's worse? Diane? By a rat. I got beaten by a barbarian, which I, granted I didn't have to pay for, but you know. <laughs> I'm going to start taking I, I, my uh, loin I'm going to pull a beautiful silver mermaid dagger out of my boot. Oh, those oh, are nice. Boy. Start picking my picking my at my claws with it so intimidating. he's tied up what do you want me to do i give me a map give me something to write with 
Give us a description of the location. Uh, cave. Duh. <laughs> oh, that's it. All right. Okay. Not a problem. Don't kill him yet. No, Abuse. I'm killing him. Don't kill. Abuse. All right. Fine. I'm going to take the knife and just kind of stick it up his nostril. Oh, Intimidation. Wow. Yeah. Go ahead. 18.5. Let's see what that is. That is a plus one. That's a 19 There's and a one, certain, a dirty 20. There's a certain spot on the nose bridge right under your eye where it, if you dig into it, it's like the most violent pain you'll ever feel. Stop reading Reddit and think <laughs> of I'm not. I'm not. It's like the most violent because it's right under where your hey, eyes are. Hey, you're expedies. not even here right now. You're over there kissing Monopoly's ass. I'm using, I've jumped in the astral form and I've entered your mind. Uh, so you've I've, jumped into some form. You, you think you could be a little bit uh, clearer about the location of the cave? How do you want me to tell you? Well, let's say we go in the way that you came out. Oh, okay. Uh, you go, uh, you go down the ramp and you hang a right no, a right and you curl around and there's a there's a there's like a shelf and it, it it's got you know the, the pointy rocks that go up and it it looks like a giant mouth and then in there, that's where we keep our stuff. Okay. Well, Barnum, I think when the others get back, we need to go back down there. We'll just take him with us. Oh, hey, by the way, a couple of dwarves are in the house when I got back. That would explain why the baby. Uh, that's what that's the smell. That was that odor. Didn't smell the same as Ralph, though. Ralph's got a yeah. kind of a musky smell. Curly smell. Yeah, yeah. These were real dwarves. These were mountain dwarves. Oh, the real thing, huh? The real thing. Not just a label. Yeah. Yeah, you put a hat on a man and <laughs> slap a sticker on his truck and call him a cowboy, but that doesn't make him one, you know. Wow. I know what Alex, you mean. Alex, why do you play with these? Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, you can Luckily, slap. I'm a, not in the room, so I can't hear any of this. You can slap a beard on a short man and pretend he's a dwarf, but that don't make him a mountain. <laughs> Tell a gnome under it nice. all. That's it, baby. Uh, they they offered us a job for six hundred gold apiece. Is what we're at. Hey, hey, not, hey! Not term conditioned yet. We have to go up and clear out some tower. You heard the story. Don't make me try to read. Yeah, it. sounds good to so, me. But what about the I other? said we'd you... finalize tomorrow morning at dawn break at our front door here about that job. They're looking to get moving on it pretty quick. We better go get the other ones in. The other guys. They tell you where they at, they had it, and where it was. Yeah, he told me the location. Yeah. They had a map. It's in the Cardassian Mounds. The Cardassian Hills. The opposite direction. The cleavage of the Kardashian. Yeah, you gotta right, go up right, the saddle. Right, <laughs> up the saddle down in the valley and the valley of woe. Down in the dead, valley. You have to be old enough to understand the joke, otherwise it just doesn't yeah. make sense. Yeah, I didn't well need let's that at all. let's go let's go find the other ones and uh oh <laughs> uh, wait a minute, I'll go find the other ones. You stay here. I gotta stay here. Uh, oh, Guard oh. this clown, get him tied up a little better. I figured he's been hog tied pretty damn good. Yeah, he's not moving. Uh, I, I I'm gonna head question, question I'm gonna head back to in. the head back to the the uh Place from once I came, yeah. Ye old suds. Yeah. As you arrive at ye old suds, uh, Ralph, Gornak, and Beal have actually started to gel. And as they finish up Paradise by the Dashboard Lights, oh my God. <laughs> shout out to Meatloaf. Um, the sparse crowd seems to really enjoy it, and they're throwing silver pieces up on stage. Uh, Ralph, Beal, Gornak, each of you roll a d20 
that's how much in in gold pieces, how much silver they've thrown at you. A D20. Let's see if I don't do good. It's a hundred silver pieces. Yeah, actually. There you go. I got an eleven, actually. Eleven gold. I promise. I should be actually. Gornak. Gonna go well. I'm gonna do it. I'm just. Let's see. see. Fat two. <laughs> well, when, when you're singing sounds like cats mating you know it kind of takes away from the whole Gor- Gornak was playing the triangle <laughs> <laughs> we need more cowbell that's right no th- you need less cowbell apparently so <laughs> mm. but, but you know that happens uh the owner operator forest comes up and uh one two three four five six five gornak uh forest offers you a job another one he wants you guys to come back tomorrow night uh (laughs) sing (laughs) 100 gold pieces keep the crowd lively (laughs) there's so many things going on (laughs) when is monopoly when is when did he say he wanted his stuff gone Tomorrow. Tomorrow? Nah, I can't do it. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to decline your offer. I have certain... 125. 125. Wow. When is my Monopoly leaving? Well, no, you're going with us. Um, no, I didn't agree. Fine. All right. Um, <laughs> more money for me then. Uh, you didn't have... <gasps> I'll just say you were both lost in the accident. Uh <laughs> Yeah, no, nah, I don't think I, I don't think I'm sorry, but this is a great offer. Maybe, uh, maybe we'll even, get... even turns to Ralph and goes 150. Oh, come on, Gordak, 150. Hey, hey, I'll raise all we have to do is sing all night. That's so hey, I'll, I'll raise, I'll raise your pay to 250. <laughs> Leon, you are hearing all this crap and you are kind of puzzled by it. I'm uh, gonna walk up and enter, 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 intervene in this. Oh, come on! Hey, I was so close. hey, hey, everybody! It's Reuben from the Partridge Family. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, yeah, Barnum, too. Barnum's got us a job lined up: sixteen six hundred gold each. Well, when Gornak's he- got us a job lined up where we just have to sit in the bar and sing all night for. 150 gold. Well, you can, and I also well, have another job. Well, can I just no say, say, Ralph? Ralph, you're welcome to stay here. I'd rather sit here. I don't want to. I don't want to get died in combat. You and Beale can both <laughs> stay here. No combat. I Please. mean, after all, you are just a hill dwarf. Oh. Captain and Captain and Tennille. <laughs> oh. I ain't no hill dwarf. Oh. 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 Pressing the pride button. Oh. Nobody. Ralph, calls uh, me Ralph, give me a perception check, please. Does he see a mountain dwarf and say, Oh, that's a real man? Six. Nope, he doesn't see the real mountain dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, your rolls are kind of crappy today. Oh. They have been terrible all night. I'm switching to the red dice. These green dice are bullshit. Did Monopoly already left? He already left, right? He already left with uh, his daughter. Whatever her name is, Jeannie. Jenny. 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 Oh, Jenny's Jenny. Jenny. gone? Uh, yep, Ralph's Jenny out. I'm gone. Gone. Uh-huh. No, I'm out. So, uh, Leon has come to fetch you guys. Uh, Forrest makes one last pitch. One million dollars. To Beal. Final offer, 175, no, 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 200, but I get 10% of your earnings. So that's 180. Well, no, no, no. He's paying them 200. Any money that they get, he gets a 10% cut. So I want three sets. I want three sets. Okay, but that's not what he said. No, it's not. That's what that's what he's saying. That is what he's saying. All right. 200 so gold. He's going to give you a 200 gold. But then after you make your rolls for how much gold people throw you three different times, he gets 
He gets 20% of that. But 10. He said 10%. 10%. 10%. 10%. 10%. 10%. Forgettable. So let's say you get 100 gold. He's taking 10 of it. What? But you're not going to get 100 gold. At most, if you're rolling die 20, you're only getting 60 gold. I'm not going to tell I you otherwise. It. I'll do it. I don't care. You're Thank staying you. and doing it. You're not. You'll venturing. be by yourself. We're not going to stay with you. Oh. We're leaving off on an adventure. Okay. Uh, uh, Ten is gone. Uh, no. I decline. I decline. I decline. I decline. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, Leon, once you guys back to the house, uh, something about the job. I'm eating my faux Chinese food. Right. And watching the orphan squirm. Because mm -hmm. I took my loincloth off and shoved it in his mouth this time. Now he's blind. <laughs> make make counts to roll on that. His, his name is Dexter. I want to keep it. And he has vomited with a two. Oh, the I'll make sure he doesn't drown. Yes, that works. Uh, Ralph Gornak Beal, you follow Leon back to the house. Uh, Barnum is eating some kind of pasta noodle dish out of a box, and there's a guy tied up on the living room floor. And somebody said, Barnum, can I walk over to Barnum and ask him a question? Sure. You guys are all together. Yep. What are we doing with the chop? This thing. 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 Human thing. beings referred to as things. It doesn't have a gender. It's, it's a, a thing. little. It's a little teenager. It's a thing. It's a thing. Why are we taking prisoners? <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I'm completing the task that was at hand when we went. It down. doesn't look like it. It looks uh, like the task is incomplete. Do you, oh, we well, he's home, gonna we show on the streets to get eaten by rat. He's gonna to show it? us where they stored all the goods they stole. No, he's not. He's gonna lead you around that damn tunnel for hours. You're not gonna find anything from the out from this guy. I... Better kill him. Kill him, Ralph. <laughs> kill him, Ralph. <laughs> all right, I will. Watch. Do it. Oh, I'm him gonna, do it. I'm gonna do it. No. All right, you kill Here him. I go. No, 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 no. I want take to keep him, take I want him, to keep him out back. I, I just cleaned the I'm floor. Him out back. If I'm, so I'm, gonna take him him out. I'm throwing him out the back door in his thing. He's gonna you can't throw him out, out there. He's going to be dead before you throw him out there. Everybody no, shut up. He's I got not. another job. I throw him out the back door. We're keeping him. I don't and, like and so they're like, if you're going to stab him, you stab him out on that concrete or that. I am not stabbing him out there. I'm stabbing him right here. You. Watch. Uh, you're going to have to drag him back in the house. So go I'm out not here. dragging him back in the house. I'm going to do it before you pick him up. Nope. Here, here no, I go. Here I go. You're in the door. Nope, nope, nope. Got my axe out. Look, guys. Get, uh, no, uh, nope. Barnum, Ralph, initiative. I was about to say, I'll drag him back to the house. Ooh. Four. Fourteen. He's out in the backyard. Is he still tied up at least? Yes. He's, he's hog tied. tied. He's hog tied. Why, why would, yeah, I, well, I don't know if he broke the hog tie when he landed or something. Oh, Not he didn't break it. Mountain dwarves tied those knots. Barbarians, actually. You know what? If I hit a natural 20, uh, his legs are free. Nope. Seven. Okay, I was getting my spell ready. I was going to shoot him down on the run. <laughs> shoot him down on the run? Just shoot him down now. No, you want to kill him. You go out there and do it. I never said help, I wanted to kill him. I just repressed. said we need to kill him. I'm being repressed. Help, help, help. I'm being Fine, repressed. I'm going out there and I'm, I'm going to kill him. I'm going to do it. You know this is no. Renee Nay's uh, little brother, didn't you? Who? Janae Nay. Do I yeah, recognize that? Uh, no, it is not her little brother. <laughs> <laughs> anything is personal. Yeah, do you see how quick he changed his damn mind? Yeah. Oh, he could have been, you know, the savior. I could. Well, I'm going to kill yep. him. This I'm kid's name him. is Dexter. Do it. Quit talking I'm about done. it and do it. All do right. It. Pulling the axe up. Yep. Ho there. Two guards come around your building into the little courtyard behind the house. What's going on there? Nothing. Nothing. We're Why doing he got the mayor's business. We're 
acting what? out of play without losing I'm the doing nuts. the mayor's hey. business. I have it. I have to do my part. I cleaned out the catacombs. I'm finished. I have house. a warrant. My job was to death. clean out the catacombs. I'm doing it here. This is my last little bit. Why has he got the axe rays? Because we're finishing cleaning out the catacombs. Yeah, just leave us alone. This doesn't concern you. Back to your the whoa, 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 whoa. We're the law rose. here, boy. Uh, before you go, you need to go talk to the mayor. I am contracted by the mayor to do my jobs. Now, well, you tell if that, you are going to interfere with what I'm doing, you're interfering with official mayor business. I, I'm going to interfere, and you tell that Hill Dwarf, put down that Hill Dwarf. Oh, why don't you just uh, go and hey, go Hill Dwarf? He said, "Put down the axe." <laughs> I don't know if he's talking about you, Ralph, but he said Hill Dwarf. You're the only dwarf I know. <laughs> I will have you know, I am a mountain dwarf. Damn it! Yeah, oh, and I'm an ogre. Proud. I have layers. <laughs> I'm not an onion. <clears throat> so is this one of them? Their uh, what do you call them things? Uh, the 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 war fans. Yeah, war fans. Well, war yeah, fan. The, the, the mayor wants the boss. That don't look like no boss. Uh, the <laughs> mayor said, "Clean out the catacombs," and that's what I'm doing. Well, let's take this guy to the jail, and we'll let the mayor decide whether he lives or dies. Might have some information. Oh. Uh, you interfered. Why did you interfere? Oh no, he's our prisoner. Uh, I have to have record. Not if, not if it's the mayor's business. It, well, mayor's hey. business, I get paid. You whatever. aren't real policemen. Let me well, have him. You, you don't want his friends coming back for him and stealing him. <laughs> he don't know, have that's any. That's why friends. we're gonna smash his head in. Uh, he doesn't have any friends anymore. Yeah. Yeah, okay, you don't have friends. We cleared out those. This is the last one. One of them blows a loud whistle. Tell I'm going to get out both Somebody. of my axes. Whistleblower, since you like to blow, why don't you go blow off and uh, get the mayor? We'll just finish it right here now. You want us to go get the mayor after yes. dark? Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You're wanting to interrupt what we're doing? Go interrupt the mayor because that's what you're doing by stopping us. Is you're interrupting the mayor. I am the hand of the mayor right now doing my job. Do you remember what the mayor's name is? Because I don't have it written down. I, I've oh, got no, no. Yeah, I do. You're lucky I remember what we just talked about five minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, I know you guys have met him. We met him. And he He's the one that gave us the job. He Torkel Chippen. Tork Torkel Chippen, Torkel. correct. Torkel. Yeah. Well, uh, he uh, the guard is going to say that he'll go get him but four one two the mountain or the hill dwarf has to come with us too sounds like a there, deal there ain't no hill dwarfs here guy. <laughs> okay the short mountain dwarf can come with us pseudo the I, dwarf. i'm sorry i can't <clears throat> with you i'm about a... he's the fox dwarf you know f-a-u-x Nice. Yeah. All right. Fine. I'll go with him. I'm gonna look at Gorda <coughs> before I leave and whisper to him. While we're gone, you need to finish what I was about to start. Got it. No. There's a couple right. more guards that have shown up for the whistle. <laughs> you All should right. have sent. You I'm should have sent that. You should have sent that to Gornak in a message, young man. <laughs> so now. Ralph, are you going to go with the guard? Yeah. You go about three blocks away. You go up that main drag, and then you hang a right down a street, and you find yourself on the great big plaza right on the corner. Uh, it's, it's a nice house, uh, and the, the government building that you went down into the caverns is right there, but this is a corner house, kind of uh, the flat iron building, uh, and the guard's like, Go ahead and knock. I'm not knocking. You're the one who's here to get the mayor. Takes his weapon. Bang, bang, bang. Door opens. It's, it's a man in a black outfit. Very stately. Gray hair. Uh, how may I help you? Monopoly? Well, Mr. Mayor, we are in 
He we hates, so... the, hates the butler. He's the butler. <laughs> <laughs> Even the guards looking at you. Laughing at you. Dumbass. Damn Hildor. Hildor. <laughs> <laughs> they're stupid. <laughs> There's no way you're a mountain dwarf. <laughs> I assume hey, you're a mountain dwarf for good. Chippen. Yes, we're here for Chippen. Do enter. He is currently busy. You and the guard walk into the hall. A lot of old paintings. Real nice place. Nice uh, runner rug. You know, this place top notch. You know, it's, it, there's some money here. Uh, there's a pair of, uh, uh, what do you call the doors that slide into the wall? Pocket, pocket doors. doors. Pocket doors. Pair of pocket doors. High pocket doors. Uh, and you know that this Torkel guy, he's a gnome. But it's like 10 foot high doors. And you hear uh laughing and clinking of glasses on the other side nowadays he would just buy a pickup truck <laughs> at okay. seventy two thousand dollars. frank got the joke okay I, yeah I didn't hear uh, so um do you want to wait or do you want to knock on the doors and be rude well, we're already here in the middle of the night. No, a real mountain. No need to be polite. Be Just as you start to knock, the pocket doors open up. Uh, a cloud of pipe smoke comes out. Give me a constitution check. See if you like it. <laughs> a one. I do not like it. You do not like it and start to turn green. It is a rather putrid odor. Uh, uh, you're allergic to opium. As, oh, as the doors boy. open, you come to about here on a very large barbarian who kind of gently brushes you to the side. Behind him is an equally large barbarian. Behind him is a third barbarian who just gives you a passing glance. But the fourth barbarian uh, sigils and uh, ritual tattoos on her face. Gorgeous woman. Uh, very form-fitting armor. This is a 17 charisma, easy, long flowing hair, uh, laughing with uh, Torkel, saying they would be happy to take the job, uh, and a thousand gold pieces is more than adequate for their purposes. Uh, you notice that this is a hill person, but it doesn't sound like a hill person. Now, the first three, yeah, they looked and smelled like hill people. This female, not so much. Uh, she takes one look at you and slides her finger across your chin as she walks out. Uh, this will cause you to be speechless momentarily. Uh, and uh, Torkel, yes? <laughs> humming a humming a humming a humming. <laughs> Who is that? No need. Uh, it's an uh, individual I've hired for a, a job. What job? Venture into the mountains. Ah, nothing, well, nothing really. Ah, well, you know, I happen to be from the mountains. Perhaps I could be of assistance to her. You look more like a hill person. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Meanwhile, your eyes are still watering from whatever smoke the tabacky. Uh, he looks at you and asks, why are you crying? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get back to the point and explain that uh, the guards interrupted us carrying out our last job from you very rudely. What job? To clean out the catacombs of all the... Oh, yes, 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 yeah. The yes. The orphan, the, the orphan problem, yes. Go on. Well, they very rudely interrupt justice about to be served. He turns to the guard and asks for an explanation. He says, <clears throat> your lordship, it was I, three, four to one. The individual was bound and... This uh, hill dwarf here uh, was getting ready to act him. through that. <laughs> uh, Reli we we uh, relieve him of his head. We, we, we felt that uh, you might want to question the individual, maybe uh, decide if there was any information there. And yes, yes. Questioning is always good. Good, good. We had yeah. already questioned the individual and got ascertained that there was no information 
that he was able to provide. Absolutely. Therefore, <laughs> justice was going to be carried out. <clears throat> what about the, is he the ringleader? Uh, uh, Wally and the beaver guy? No. <laughs> That's who I wanted. He's uh, dead. I know he's dead. No, he's not. They're dead. Oh, okay. And this one guy is the only one left. We caught him. He ran out of the tunnels. We got him in the backyard, and then the guards showed up and intervened. And now we are 20 minutes behind schedule, and we've interrupted your night so rudely, and I'm going to look at the guard. Now, if you'll please excuse me, I have a job to get back to. Tell your guards to stand down. So you're telling me you've taken out the leaders, yeah. but, but, but one of the ranks while bound was escaping from you in the city. That doesn't really uh, bolster a lot of confidence. No, Is there no, he was evidence either. that you have? He was not escaping from us into the city. We caught him in the tunnels and were interrogating him hit up in the backyard. That's when the guards showed up. The story changed a little bit. Yes, it did. <laughs> <laughs> uh, does he notice, though? Uh, 14. Something seems amiss, but he's not quite sure. He goes, regard No. Irregardless, because he doesn't use it right, <laughs> irregardless of that fact, I'm going to need proof. I have the proof right here. And I'm going to reach into my bag and pull out a scrap of fabric. This is proof that they are all dead. You are a hill dwarf. <laughs> now if you will please let me get back to serving justice I don't think you could serve fries <laughs> he does they hire you don't need this I was in the middle of something turns to the guard and he says go get the prisoner and bring him back to me that will not be necessary Where my men have already been ordered to Execute the prisoner. I'm sorry, which one of us is the magistrate here? That's all right. Yes, you're right. But Who I'm telling you, are you you're in the wasting your, here. You are <laughs> wasting your time. They will only bring back the prisoner in pieces. Bring me back the prisoner. <laughs> and he shuts the door. <laughs> Pink meat prisoner. <laughs> Guard says, well, let's go get him. I'm not getting him. You heard his orders. You go bring the prisoner. I'm waiting right here. Okay. He leaves. Uh, I don't know. Five, 10, 15 minutes have passed. Uh, well, I'm, I wasn't going to stay. I was going to no, let no, him I walk out and then I was going to follow him. Right, no, for the others. 10, oh, 15. Well, I would have stayed and had a cigar or something in the parlor. Nope. So they, they, what are you guys going to do? Okay. I was told. He's to, been dragged away by a guard. Uh, I was told to relieve the prisoner of his head. Well, there's a couple of guards there, and they tell you don't do it. Well, I won't. I'll take him inside, and then I'll say, no, I'll put him inside. Put him inside point. either. Yeah, I will. He is corpus. <laughs> I'm going to slip I up wish behind. To I'm going to walk behind the little man tied up mm -hmm. and slip a mermaid dagger through his ribs. Ooh, give me your stealth roll. That's a plus two. That's a dirty 20. Nice. Uh, you do it. But of course, he starts to cough up blood. <laughs> this man is sick and dying. Help him. The guards all turn to each other. It's it's I, that's the wasting disease. I've seen that before. I'm gonna start backing away from him. I'll tell Gornak, Gornak, get away from him. If he coughs any of that on you, you'll get it. 
So we must kill him now. So none of us will get it. Now I'm going to take out my axe and cut He's him. a goner. He's a goner. We nope. got to burn that Don't body before we gotta that burn spreads. Him. We got to kill him and burn him before it spreads. Don't kill him. We got to kill him. Are you going to kill him? He's dying. Gornak, don't, don't get close to him. I are, won't are get you, close to him. Are he's you, are you he's dying. Him he's dying, Gornak. Leave him. Leave him. He's dying. Go get oh, oil. Oh. Go get oil. We're going to have to burn that corpse. Have a question. Yes. Wasting disease. Wasting disease. Go ahead, Beal. <laughs> can I see? Can I roll to see if I saw Leon, Linian, or whatever? Leon. Hey, hey, <laughs> Linian. Dad, Linian, I got your you Linian heard. right here, lady. Linian. Hey, Linigy. Have <laughs> a Gene Coca? Sure, you can uh, roll for perception, but you got to at least meet or beat his roll, which is a dirty twenty. Mm, this isn't gonna go well. That's yeah. Come on, what, what, uh, come on, roll it, roll it. Nineteen. That didn't do it. Any pluses to that? That is got her pluses plus. in it. You're pretty sure Leon did something to that guy, but you aren't one hundred percent sure. Right. <laughs> Leon did something. Why are you giving it away? Why are you doing it? What, what, <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> Why are you ratting me now? <laughs> the guards step oh, forward. Hang on a minute. I got to roll a dice see if I turn and stab somebody else with my dagger. It's always sad when a grandchild. This could be your last Sunday. Away. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, the guards step forward. They've never heard of this wasting disease bullshit. Uh, and they examine them. So I'll take three investigation rolls. A 15, a 5, and a 13. They don't know what to make of it. About this time, the fourth guard arrives, and he goes, what in the hell is going on here? Wasting disease. He needs to die Wasting now. disease. Leo, we need to he, leave him. He is now dead. Okay, good. Get the oil. You got the oil, Gornak? I got the oil. We'll dump the oil on him, and we're going to burn the body. Did something. No, I'm gonna, already I'm dumping push, the oil. I'm going to push everybody back so Gornak can burn the body before this disease spreads. Yep, I'm the, already uh, dumping the oil. As the says, lead guard the pulls, his not, pulls his blade. He's like, yeah, I ain't allowed to burn bodies inside city limits. That's we are. This, this, you you are understand. not doing it or you will go to jail. Well, and get your jail ready, buddy. Burn it. It's burning. I'm lighting it. It's then, being lit. Then we got to cut the heart out now. There are three whistles spread. being blown and two monstrosities uh, walk around the corner. You can tell they got ogre blood in them. Oh, it is okay. now six to four uh, because yeah. Ralph is still sneaking up. Uh, the, the lead guard's like, you aren't burning him. You go to jail if you burn him. We're taking Fine. him. I didn't do anything. No, no, we'll walk him out of simulate. You know what? I'm gonna grab him by his I'm gonna grab him by his foot and I'm gonna say then we'll walk him out of city limits and I'll start dragging him out. Every, everybody roll initiative. Oh, oh my god. god. I think Frank, I'm gonna die. I, I Frank, think I might die. 30 20. What is that? It just threw yes. It didn't even throw it that one time. Ten. Ralph initiative. Ten. Eight. I'm not counting that. I did better than him then. 17. 17 and Gornak. It was a dirty 20. Okay. Uh, Start dirty 20, Leon. Uh, The guard's pretty specific about this. uh, And you don't see Ralph. Well, you know, don't want us to burn him. We got to at least take his head off so he doesn't come back. He ain't coming back. Stay your weapon. Uh, Gornak, dirty 20. What do you want to do? I said we'll burn him outside of city limits, so that's what I'm doing. I'm dragging him out of city limits. If the magistrate says burn him out of city limits, then you burn him out of city limits. Well, the magistrate told me to get rid of them all, so that overrules your magistrate of power that he told you to have. So You're just I'm a cop. I, I, I just cop. I just saw pig. the magistrate there, uh, Matt Locks. You need to go back to law school. Uh, 17, Barnum, what do you want to do? Uh, 
If I cast a spell that causes necrotic damage, I just want to do it to the, the body. Just it's basically the body starts rotting. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Oh, me too. That's what I'm wanting to do. Okay. I want the do body you, to start. Touch him, or do you have to hit him? I'm trying to find the damn wound again now. I just had the damn thing. Touch, isn't it? Uh, that's what I'm looking for. I, I'm guessing touch, but you can kick. You can kick him. <laughs> And like kick him like we're getting rid of this body. Yep, I'd have to touch. Kick so him, touch. touch. Kick him. Yeah. Was it false? So I'll, I'll keep the guards busy. You touch. I am a I am a I am a I I am a cleric, gentlemen. I need to examine the body real quick to make sure this is not spreading. Do you mind if I check this? Persuade me. Ugh, that's not pretty. Oh, it's not. Nat 20. Go ahead. I'm going to touch it. Okay. And I'm going to cast. And that is... <clears throat> you need me to roll the narcotic... N- narcotic. Necrotic damage. Uh, you can, but he's already dead. Yeah, so I figured it's just going to happen. So, I'm going to stand back, and there's rot starting to spread. Okay. Uh, Ken, Beal, what are you doing? Ratting out somebody. Why don't you rat out Barnum now, Beal? Snitches get uh, stitches, Beal. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm just staring at the scene. Uh, cool. Basically clue, half clueless. Okay. All right. <laughs> I think that is going to be what your grandfather points out to you after the show. Uh, Ralph, you're sneaking up on this cluster. Uh, what do you want to do? Uh, they need to, we need to kill the prisoner. If nobody He's sees dead. me, I'm shooting an arrow at that prisoner. Prisoner's laying I mean, dead the prisoner on the ground. The prisoner that's laying dead on the dead? ground? Yeah. Well, surrounded two seconds, by you guys everybody. Did it? Yeah. It's oh, rotting. Perfect. Oh, perfect. <laughs> then I'm going to walk up okay, to the right. guard that was behind us and say, I told you. I told you he was dead. I'm going to say, tell Ralph, get back, Ralph. He's got the wasting disease. They won't listen to me. Wasting disease? That sounds like bullshit. I mean, yeah, the wasting disease. Two dissenters. <laughs> Two. Damn hill, hill dwarves. <laughs> I'm starting to think he might be one of them forest dwarves. <laughs> the <laughs> lowest right of all hill. dwarves. More likely a sewer dwarf from the big city. Valley you dwarf. know, the ones that swim through and clean them out. You know what I mean? Uh, the lead guard motions to the ginormous guards and says, dig and dug. Drag him back to the magistrate. I'm going to say, gentlemen, yeah. as you see, he's starting to rot. This infection could spread if you touch. I would not mess with the body. (laughs) These two are morons. They could be part of your party, for God's sake. They reach down, grab a hold of each arm, and they start dragging him through the cobblestone portico. Do the arms arms rot off? That's all I want. Uh, How much damage? It was uh, like, I got to read it again. It spreads every round, doesn't it? No, one that one. It was. I would think only if they're alive. Three die ten necrotic damage. Okay, uh, you roll three die ten. I'll roll three die ten. If I lose, parts will start falling off. If you win, or no, if you win, parts start falling off. If I win, they don't. Oh, this is the shittiest roll ever. Uh, I don't know. I might. I might have been worse. Eleven. Nine. Okay, the Jesus bodies are Christ. not yet rotting off. Two <laughs> guys, ones. I rolled two ones. You guys suck. <laughs> six. That's coming six, from me. I'm one. starting to think this party sucks. Yeah. <laughs> well, at least two of them do. Because <laughs> they're throwing you under the bus. Yeah, uh, no shit. Dig and Doug start dragging them back to the magistrate's office, and bits and pieces of them are starting to chip away. Hey, as long as a certain wound in the back of this thing rots away, that's all that matters. Um, well, 
Let's get it out of the way. Magistrate will examine him. He ain't going to find it. There we oh. go. Oh. I covered it up. So they'll drag him back to the magistrate's office. Uh, you guys are standing there in the backyard, essentially. I'm going back to the house. Are the yeah. guards gone? Guards are gone. They don't care anymore. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> All right. So it sounds All as well that ends well. I'll explain the new point of business we're looking to uh, take on. Hey, Gentlemen, sounds like we're going to go ahead and take on off tomorrow if you Whee! guys are interested. I know uh, Leon and myself are definitely interested. The job is to go up and help out these mountain dwarves in clearing out this tower. Is that what you said? It was like a tower? Tower ruins. Yeah, watchtower ruins. 600 yeah, one... apiece is where okay. we're sitting at on the table. We have not signed. He went from 300 to 600 in a split second when I told him to 300 wasn't enough. So there's a possibility might be able to get more each. You got anything each. to add, Ralph? How'd wow, your visit that, with the mayor go? No, that sounds way better. I said, how'd your visit with the mayor mm. go? Oh, the visit with the mayor. It, he, uh, he, got, he got a message. You get our <laughs> yeah, money? Did you get our money? No, I didn't go there to get the money. I went there because we were supposed to be killing the prisoner. Now we got to go get the money. They, the mayor wanted us to bring the prisoner to him. And I said, I'm not bringing him here. So he sent the guards to get him. That's why they just took him off. Apparently that little uh, handkerchief wasn't enough proof. <laughs> no, it was not. So now we got to go collect our money. We'll do it tomorrow. You know, this plan would smell a whole lot better with some adventure sense. I think, I think so. Fishgames.com. I don't think they make one as strong. Uh, I don't know. We need some. Hey, you know what? Yeah, I got to send you guys some putrid sewers because that yes. stuff will rot your guts. I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm going to go curl up by the fire and go to sleep. Well, okay. before you do, let me just tell you. Oh, yeah, we are working on our own plan for tomorrow. We can dovetail this right in where we go to the mayor. We pick up the money. Gordax already arranged it so that. We just go and walk some people out to Centerwood, and they're going to pay us 150 gold a person. No, that's Peakwood, and that's the opposite direction we're going. So the yeah. answer is no. Come on, 150 a person just to hey, walk. You know on what? Out You're there. that it's interested in it. You take him, Hill Dwarf. Yeah, I'm going with Gordak. You guys are going. So you're going to split the party. And you're going to go that way like for 150 instead of 600. I no, here's what we do. We do both. We don't we just, have time for both. No time oh. for both. We have to leave tomorrow morning with you mountain dwarves. You need to make a decision. Real. Every single quest is now. Real mountain dwarves. Oh, it's going to take Here. three days travel to Peakwood, to Eastwood, or to the ruins. And then three I days have, back. I have, a, I have a small idea. And if this doesn't work, we can never come back to Yintense again. Shocker. No, I don't like this down. idea already. I've bought property. Bought in yeah, but if we do, you'll have to sell that property because we'll never be able to come back here again. Or like collect no, the we insurance. Don't we're just screwed. Yeah, so we would go no. to the job we're 600, come back if, hopefully if, the, um, the, por the party that we're supposed to escort hasn't come happen. back yet, and they shouldn't have, and if they said we weren't there, I'll said we found them along the way. We didn't know you had time or we didn't. I, we slept in or something, something like that. We'll make it up when we get there. Wait, I, I have, have another no idea. idea what you're saying. What if we go get the people we're supposed to escort and bring them with us? We unload it and then we just tell them it's a long way. They don't know. They're not from around here. That's why they need escorts, right? Or do they know where they're going? No, I think they know where sport? they're going. Do they know where they're going? Then why do they uh, yeah. know do you not, a dangerous way. Do you not know who your DM is and knowing that this will never work? Hey, That's just, what I'm saying, just I think. aside, Beal and Gornak have already recognized three individuals in a tavern 
and you're set to escort three individuals. I'm not oh. saying there's linkage there. <laughs> I'm just saying uh. so bad that they don't recognize these three. I'm just saying we could be making a lot more money if we did both at the same time. Yeah, okay. Well, I, I'm definitely going to the Dwarven Mountain. So we'll, we'll, we'll do that one. And then we'll, if we get back and it's still there, we can do the other escort. It's only what six days. That's what later. I was planning on. I was going to say, and if they didn't, that's what I was going to say. If I, if it didn't work out, we couldn't come back. So what we're going to do is yeah. we're going to say yeah. I met them along the way. No, no. We'll just tell them we'll be back in about six days and then we'll do this job. No, they won't. She had to do it that day. She won't yeah, that's day. right. That's why I'm saying we're not doing it. We're going to the mountains. We're doing it. We're Fine. Right. Well, you know what? Fine. No, we're going to the mountains, and I'm doing right. my thing when we get back. We're coming back to the intents when we're done, and I'm doing mine. I don't care okay. if I have to split the party. Okay. <laughs> Stick with me, or you'll die with him. It's your choice. You won't die. You'll stay alive. No, we'll probably die. You have die. the curse rolls. How can I believe you? Be confident. Oh, yeah. I think the he highest I rolled today was nine. Uh, his rolls have been good. You've rolled like crap. He yeah. gave me his curse, okay? <coughs> All right, he still so, will fumble. So we're hands. going We're going. To we're the going mountains. mountains first. Fine. You know, it has been a while since I was home in the mountains, so I guess I'll go with you to the mountains. Yeah, let's... You need to, to go the mountains. to the mountains. Back to my homeland, where I am from. And my ancestors are also from. Leon's I'm laying back mountain. down by the fire and going to sleep. Sure. The mountains. Yes. Actually, it's night. Hell yeah, we're sleeping. Sleep. I, I'm going to set my alarm clock for break of dawn. What's your alarm Before clock? I do, I'm going to go over by the fireplace above it. Because before I go to bed, I like to stroke the uh, albino zonkey head I got mounted above it. Sure. Say good butter butt. Good the, butter the, butt. Pale, the pale one? You the can't just zonkey. pull in things from the other butter uh, butt. universe. It doesn't work that way. Oh, it's yeah, that'd be like putting in a silver mermaid dagger everywhere. That's that's not where perfect. I hide my silver ma- mermaid dagger in Butterbutt's mouth. Ralph, the important thing is the head's mounted above the fireplace. The other end's in the other room. It's right. up in the bedroom. Oh man! So we're sleeping until dawn. So we're sleeping until dawn. Yeah. Everybody roll a con check to see if you wake up at dawn. You got to beat my roll. 18. I didn't beat your roll. I rolled a nine. Straight up or plus? Straight up. 18. 17. Uh, five. No, it's not. <laughs> I'm sleeping oh. in, boys. No, you're not. Um, Ralph? Nine. I'm sleeping You said I have the curse. Why are you screaming again? You guys Gornack. said I have the curse. Well, I got a 19. 19. 19, Gornak. I got a nine. Uh, so Beal and Leon, you wake up at the crack of dawn. <sighs> Look around. All you can hear is snoring by the other three. They are sawn wood. Uh, light is coming in. Uh, and you see movement in the backyard. I'm going to tell Beal, wake the other ones up, and I'm going to go investigate. Okay. Right. A figure starts to run in between two buildings. Did I tell what it was or who it was? Maybe it it wasn't a full-size human, uh, but it was larger than a gnome. All right. (laughs) That looked like it was wearing green. Nope, too dark. Disappeared. Uh, Disappeared in between. Larger than a hill dwarf wearing a mountain dwarf clothing. I'm going to go back and make sure everybody's awake. Okay. Everybody is now awake. I kicked them all. Oh, awake. Oh, thanks. Nice. nice we still You're going to have a bruise, by the way. Still haven't forgotten that you, treat, you went treason on us. Nope. Yeah, you're dying in the woods. I certainly haven't forgotten. So why did you oh, tell no, me awake? I can't, I can't help. I'm too far away. Now I know why Frank doesn't like triflings or trife, tyf, whatever the hell you Chieflings. are. Tieflings. Oh, Asmar. Fallen Asmar. Generally, so, uh, you guys wake up. Uh, you try and grab what breakfast you have that the dwarves didn't sully. I brought the rest of my hunch with me. Nice. I uh, ate leftover Chinese. Flick the maggots off of it. and it Hell yeah, baby. Stick it in the fire. <laughs> warm it up. 
There is a knock on the door. I got it. You open up the door. Nobody is there. There is, however, a small wooden box with a bow on it. Take it over and open it. Oh, God. What's in the box? There there is also a tag on it. I'll look at the tag. There's a million dollars in that box. To Ralph with a little heart on it. Yeah. Is it poison? I'm gonna leave oh. it on a I'm gonna leave it on a front step and go back in and tell Ralph. Ralph, you gotta leave it outside to open it. Do not open that in the house. <coughs> open that in the house. But you got a package out there. Oh, a package for me? Oh, Amazon yeah. ordered early today. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna Same prance day, on over really. there and open it up. Uh, oh. are you gonna look at the tag? Sure, I'll look at the tag first. It has your name on it with a heart. You open it up. Uh, it is a, a small cake pastry. That's poison. Interesting. Is it chocolate also, cake? Also with a heart on it. Nope, it's vanilla with a red icing heart on it. Oh, this Probably must poison. be from Jen A. Or the bakery girls. Uh, or the bakery, or the bakery girl. girls. Or the <laughs> or Madison cake. over at the pink house. Or the bartender at the bar uses. <laughs> or the bartender. Oh, let's be honest. We all know it's from Griselda. <laughs> so it looks like you got pastry in the morning. That's a nice thing. Perfect. Yeah. Sugar crash. Sugar crash. I get, I get a sugar crash and then a sugar rush. It's pretty weird. It's got little purple pills in it. Uh-huh. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to bring I'll it in, show it off, and then eat it. Crash and then a sugar. Go ahead and do me a uh, constitution. <laughs> constitution, <laughs> Ralph. 17. That cake is good. What was it? Yeah. What was your roll? 17. Very nice. Uh, tastes a little tangy, but you know, uh, you're presuming that there might be lemon in it. Why aren't you? Are you going to eat the whole thing? As Give much as I can. Yeah. Give me yeah. Why share? There's no yeah, reason. I'm not going to share with these barbarians <laughs> here. Nice. Call me a hill dwarf and shit. Yeah. I, no, I, I agree completely. Uh, knock on the door again. I got it. The bakery girls. No. Nope. Two mountain dwarfs. Great. I'm gonna, I'm gonna that elbow one. Ralph eating his cakes. Hey Ralph, look, look what's at the door. <laughs> Is that the real thing? Ralph, Ralph, D- seen Ralph D12 against me, please. Oh man. <laughs> Seven. Uh, Six, uh, you do not have icing booped on your nose, no. <laughs> so you will not make it. Unpleasant. Oh, come on, roll uh, again for crumbs in his beard. <laughs> he barely has a beard, he's a hill dwarf. That's true. <laughs> uh, it's the mountain dwarves. Uh, hey, I see you all have returned. Did you bring breakfast? Scroll. You ate all my food, Br- brought you a scroll map. Uh, come on, Ed. Get- the rest hey, we of got, us are here. We got oh, one of your kind in our party right here. They nod to you, Ralph. Hello, gentlemen. Yes, yes. Hello. Gentlemen. What clan are you from? <laughs> Excuse oh, me. I've got something. Uh, of the hill. People. I need to go grab a drink. I'm from the, uh, the Gogobek clan up on the mountains. Are you talking Go-Gobek. with a deeper voice? <laughs> Gogobek? Gogobek, yes. Gelgabek, sorry. Gelgamesh. Uh, I thought that was a hillboard clan. Go ahead and give me a persuasion check. <laughs> That's hillbilly clan. <laughs> 18. Lower cousin. Uh, very famous family. Good yeah. stock. Good stock. Yes. Uh, you see the second uh, dwarf, uh, and you being a mountain dwarf, is well aware that. Uh, that's the female. Uh, you know, he said gentleman. Yeah. She uh, mm, 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 seems to be impressed with you. Mm. What's uh, the charisma in dwarf? In, yeah. in, you know what? You put uh, a minus sign in front of everything. The Ugh. root beer is the dwarf. The green is how the rest of you see her. Okay. Because so I was going to say the dwarf look. In the... the dwarf is a 17. Oh, so you guys very here as a four. <laughs> <laughs> See, this makes more sense. That now. makes complete sense. Yeah, that roll was about accurate. Uh, he asks if your team is assembled. Yep. 
Yep, we have. We just need to finalize. Shake on it. So half. So 1,500. Right. Oh, so we, we're settling with 600? What exactly are we clearing out of these uh, towers? Don't know. Probably humanoids. Humanoids? Yeah, I wonder if, wonder if they were hired by the mayor last night. The mayor. Oh, I wasn't there. There were no dwarves at the mayor's office. No, I know. I know. There were humanoids, so. So what is the, uh, what is the finalized endpoint to uh, collect our final payment? You report back to us on your findings. Oh, we know that you are people of your word. Well, except for the small lion cub there. Uh, but we understand that the rest of you, and since you have a dwarf, uh, we know that you'll be telling us the truth. Okay. You know, so he didn't say mountain dwarf. He just said a dwarf. Yeah. So I appreciate that he used the indefinite article. Yeah. He's, he's a dwarf. All right. So we're all agreed. We'll take the contract. <coughs> All right, half up front, fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred. He th he throws you three bags of five. Very nice, very nice. Spread that out, and then uh, by what's our time frame on this? Take you three days to get there, three days to get back. Let's call it an even eight days. Eight. How about we make it nine? <coughs> Gives me one day to spare to make sure I get it completely cleared out and find everything. D12 against me. D12. Make it a big roll. Nine. Uh, eight. Uh, nine days. Nine days. Three to get there. Three to get back. Three to investigate. Uh, very good. Any other questions? When's our starting time? Now. What? <laughs> you want to give us prep time? Hey. Was there a uh, provisioner close to this house? Uh, yes. Just up the street, Ralph will have passed it, so he knows where it is. Okay, let's grab some provisions as we go out of town. Because we're gonna see run it, low. See you in nine days. Nine days. Right. And they yeah. leave. Uh, and that sounds like a good end point. Yep. So, uh, little Frankie, what'd you think? I thought it was good. I almost made a deal, but then I didn't because we got <laughs> other stuff to do. And this also does sound more interesting. You're the D and D Shark Tank, is what you are. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I will uh, invest in your company. You will give me eighteen hundred percent. Next up, everybody's favorite hill dwarf, AJ. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> I, I was hey. very disappointed with my rolls today. I think my high was a nine, maybe a fifteen. When it was uh, how many gold points I got when I was singing the karaoke. And the other thing I learned today is that perception is reality. <clears throat> so I will probably be a hill dwarf for the rest of this character's time. Well, but the two the two mountain dwarfs recognized you as a mountain yeah. dwarf. I know. Uh, no, they didn't recognize you as a mountain dwarf. They recognized him as, as a dwarf. A dwarf. That's what I was yeah. saying. They didn't Victorian say mountain family. dwarf. But they knew my clan. They know your clan. They they did know that. Well, yeah, uh, many mountain many mountain dwarfs have you know servants that are hill dwarfs. Oh, wow, you know. Somebody's got to tend to gardens. You are the Rodney Dangerfield of this party. I feel like <laughs> I can't get no respect. <laughs> no. Uh, Frank, what'd you think? Middle Frank. Middle Frank. I love it. I'm, I'm going this way. Yeah, oh, yeah I know. Reverse snake. No, I liked it. Okay. Little, little trying to get us all on board onto the same spot. Once again, Youngest Frank trying to lead the party astray on these wild split the groups. I am not leading no one astray. And, and you know what? I had already prepared in case you wanted to split the party and it was going to go poorly. Oh, <laughs> I would expect no less. So, uh, Sophia, since I've 
obviously put your brother and your cousin in awkward situations. Feel the traitor. The druid. <laughs> well, he's asking what you think of it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> how did it feel to turn a turn on your grandfather? Yeah, how did it feel to your grandfather? Actually, back? felt actually, great. Deep inside of me, I had. No yeah, I, know, I like the way you did that the amazing. day after you got your birthday present. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, I had a birthday. Got my gifts. Oh, let, let, me, my grandpa let, let me mark this on my 2023 calendar. <laughs> He'll forget. He's old. That's why I wrote it down. Craig <laughs> okay. Senior, what'd you think? That yeah, was a good time, even though, like I said, somebody turn coated on me, squealed on me, it is ratted fine, me it's, out. It's became fine, grandpa. The I would never. It's fine. I would never do that, Grandpa. I know you wouldn't, son. But your sister did. That's right. That was a good time. It's it's fun watching the uh, everybody running off in every direction. That and was Frank my trying to get it together. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I wanted to give a lot of options for you guys. And well, a lot of good, a lot of good on them. <laughs> a lot of good player character personalities coming out, you know, the wheeler dealer, the Sex addict, the snitch, backstabber, uh, <laughs> Are you going to describe some of the other characters there, Frank? That's, yeah. that's all I can think of right now. <laughs> Don't be so hard on yourself, Frank. <laughs> well, folks, that's been the Margu campaign. We hope you enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget, follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about D&D, join our Discord. If you want to buy our cool stuff like this, uh, go ahead and hit our store. If you want to be on a show next Saturday's One Shot or Tuesday's Between the Rolls, M Hobo Inc., Twitter or Gmail, hit us up. We will get you on there. Remember, if you need custom dice, go over to Twitter, at Pirate Dog Dice. Or if your game stinks and you want to make it smell better, oddfishgames.com, uh, Adventure Sense, over 60 different scents. Uh, they also have something called the Shine Project for you writers out there. For all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., uh, this has been the Margoo Campaign. Thanks for joining us. Everybody give them a big kiss and wave. Bye, everybody. Bye.